Well, you're back from Jock already, guy? Yeah. Oh, that's fast. Wait, how do you know it was here? Huh? Wait, how do, how do you know it was, I was here? Because I was coming out from the other side. Why does your car sound like it's gonna break down? I don't know. I just put on the it's exhaust. Huh? It's like exhaust. Oh. Uh, so what's your plan? No, this car's too rotted. It's gonna be too much work. So what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna drive this car until like I, I guess I see a car that I want. And what car are you gonna see that you want? Well, it's good. You save more money. You're not. You're only paying insurance. You don't have to buy another car yet. But you know, what I mean, I just don't, don't want you putting any more money into it. And yeah, I know it sucks that like you know you spend so much money, but that's a part of the game sometimes, Kyle. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm you gonna... just have to be more wiser and smarter about your 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 purchase. Like you, like now you're nine. You're like, you're turning twenty tomorrow. Yeah, no. So, like, clearly you're smarter now than you were when you first bought the car. So now you just have to be more smarter with your purchases. And, yeah, you spent a lot of money, but sometimes you'll never get back the money that you invested in a car. Like, my friend Anton, look what he, he had that blue car before with the leather and everything. He done up that car, and he never got all the money he wanted for the car. You know what I mean? A lot of guys don't get all the money they want for a car. And I know you want to buy a super antique car. You said you want the first generation Audi, but you're going to run into the same problem. Unless you're going to school to learn to be a welder and you, learn, you rebuild chassis and all that, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It doesn't make sense because you're going to go and buy a first generation Audi. First of all, you're barely going to find one of those. And you're going to run into the same problem where the whole bottom underneath is rust out. And you're going to have to get those men to rebuild the whole frame you know, that's a that's a lot of money so you might as well by the time you buy a car say a, a 2000 or a 2000 or a 98 or let's just use those for example by the time like years pass by it's going to be an antique already anyhow so it doesn't make a difference if you're planning to keep the car so i i think i don't know i know you you, you i guess you're gonna probably buy another integra like yours you're gonna try and find one yeah, maybe like a better one, like a like a higher trim or something. Or I just want to make a higher one, what? Like a this mine is like the base model, so there's like other like higher trims. Yeah, but the biggest problem that you're gonna have is is it rust underneath? You know, if I'm gonna buy another Integra, I'm, I'm gonna make I have to make sure like there's no rust on it. But I'm not, I don't want to buy it. Yeah, because I don't yeah. Want to, because even though when you be when we went, you looked underneath the car and made sure and looked, but clearly that that there was so much rust underneath the car. Yeah, no, I didn't know at that time. I thought it was a different kind of rust. I think you just should go and buy an Audi and call it the damn day, guy. Uh, I don't want no Audi. You said you wanted an Audi. Like the, for the first January RE. Yeah, so why don't you go buy one? You have money. You don't have to pay rent, dude. Yo, you are in a better space than I've ever been in my life and all the man them that I know. Our parents would make us pay rent. Well, grandma never made me pay rent, but I had to help out with bills because, you know, they didn't have the money to, to, to do certain things all the time. You're in a space where you have no bills to pay. You have no, you don't have to worry about food. We're not telling you to buy grocery. Guy, go buy the fucking car you want, bro. Yeah, but that's not what I want. Don't. Uh, no, but you said you want an R8. I can't. Yeah. yeah. Of course, you can afford to go buy an R8. You know, you just said you don't want the first generation R8, right? No, the first. You generation, said you want. I like the. You know, I mean, you want the first generation R8, so you can afford to go and buy that. That's not an old car. That that's just came out a couple years ago. So go and buy the car, guy. That's how you have to flex in life, Kyle. Like you have money, there's no there's no reason why you can't buy that unless your work is planning to like lay you off. And, and at that point, we can figure that out for you. Go our, buy the car you want. Don't be dumb and go keep putting more money into some car when you can just go and buy the R8 and put all the money you want into that car. Yeah, but I'll help you find one. 
What are you? You're, you're planning to move out soon? I'm no. Do you still have a couple years? By the time you're ready to move out, you already paid off the car already, Kyle. Don't be like me. Don't be like us. You know what my problem is? And it took me a while to figure it out. When you want something, what are you waiting for? Until you're dead old to buy it? There's no time like the present, Kyle. You have no pressures of life at home. You don't have no youth. You never breed no gal. You don't have bills. You don't pay rent. The only thing you'll be paying for is your monthly bill for your for your wit, bro. You can't afford no RE right now. Yo, shut up, guy. What, what year do you, R8 do you want, guy? Like a 2008, but insurance would be too high. That, that, that's so crazy. I don't know what you're t talking about buying an RE. That's like when I'm like 25 or something. Why is that crazy? I your mom, but that's like buying a brand new car. You guys, your mom just even said to you, if you want to go buy a brand new car, you can afford to. An RE. That's not crazy. An R8 is a supercar. What? An R8. It's a supercar. Yes, I understand, but I've seen R8s for not that much. You're not paying $80,000 for an R8 for the year that you want. It's cheaper than that. Anyways, what year? You said I'll find you one. What year? I'm not ready for one, but 2008. 2008? Okay, fine. I'll find you one. Bye. What? Bye. Bye.